today i will explaining engine cooling in this what you mean by engine cooling need for engine cooling there are two methods of engine cooling air cooling or and second one is water cooling in this i will explain how air cooling works and what are the advantages of air cooling what are the disadvantages of air cooling so first one is what do you mean by engine cooling before explaining engine cooling already we aware of that about the combustion processes so in the combustion process that will converts thermal energy into mechanical work so this is the result of the combustion process so because of the result of the combustion processes the high temperatures are produced so this heat is transferred to engine components engine components like cylinder walls piston and engine walls so if we are not cool these engine parts then engine will be damaged so there is a necessary to cool the engine parts and second very important in this so the total fuel energy is not converted into mechanical work only the part of the fuel energy is converted into mechanical work the rest of the heat is rejected in the form of heat lost to exhaust heat rejected into the coolant heat from engine surface by combination of conduction convection and a radiation process so next is a need for engine cooling already i discussed one point if we are not cool the engine parts the engine will damaged so other than this there are so many reasons are there to cool the engine in that first one is because of the high engine temperature that may cause the pre ignition and detonation so for that reason there is a, a requirement there is a require to cool the engine and second one is so whatever the heat is produced that heat is a transferred to cylinder head so in the cylinder head the temperature will increases so if the heat is accumulated in the cylinder head because of that the loss of volumetric efficiency and then that will reduce this the power output so if the power output will reduces then the efficiency will decreases so for that reason there is a necessary to cool the engine and next is methods of cooling air cooling and water cooling in this i will explain air cooling so here how we have to engine cool the engine by using air so we have to circulate the air around the engine or heated metal surfaces so if you supply the air around the heated metal surfaces so then that by using this we have to cool the heated metal surfaces but in this the rate of heat dissipation of that air the rate of heat dissipation of that air depends on so many parameters so that may be depends on the surface area of the metal or air mass flow rate or thermal conductivity of the metal or 
द टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस बिटवीन मेटल एंड एयर सो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन दी सो मेनी पैरामीटर्स सो इफ वी वांट टू इंक्रीज द इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ दैट हीट डेसिपेशन देन द कॉन्टैक्ट एरिया ऑफ हीटेड मेटल एंड एयर शुड बी मोर For example, you take this is a barrel or cylinder. This is the heated metal surface, the, and he, he, if you supply the air to that heated metal surfaces, the air will comes and that will go out. So the heat dissipation will be less. So for that reason, we are providing the pins over the cylinder barrel. so if we are providing pins over the cylinder barrel then the contact area of this heated metal and air will be more we can observe it the air will be passing here and again that will come here air will be passing through these pins then here that will air will comes out so then the contact area of the air and the heated metal will be more so that pins may be integrated during the casting process to the cylinder or we can attach that pins separately to the cylinder so next is what are the advantages of the air cooling if you use the air cooling you take it air cooled engines are useful in extreme calamities where water may freeze that is the first advantage and next one is these engines warm up earlier than the water cooled engines and third one is so easy maintenance as compared to water cooling each easy maintenance how means there is no leakage problem in this pro in this case in water cooling water may leak it so that is not happened in the air cooling there is no leakage problem in case of air cooling so for that reason the maintenance is very less as compared to water cooling next is disadvantages so heat transfer coefficient of air is less heat transfer coefficient of air is less that is one more the main disadvantages of the air cooling because of the uneven cooling around the cylinder or heated metal surfaces the cylinder me distortion will occur the distortion of the cylinder will happen because of the uneven cooling of the cylinder and third very important point in this they because of using this air cooling the noise will create it because the absence of water cooling this will acts as a sound insulator so this is on more the main disadvantages of the air cooling so thank you